In this video, we will discuss about different codes of CT secondary and how they are connected to control room equipments like meter and relays. This is a 220kV feeder bay which may be connected with main bus 1 or main bus 2 by connecting either 89A isolator or 89B isolator. Suppose 89A, 89L and 52 breaker all are closed. Then this bay is connected with main bus 1 and the load will flow in this way through this city. And this P1 and P2 represents primary start of the city. This city have 5 number of city secondary or 5 number of cores. Now core 1 is metering core and this metering core is connected with metering circuit which is described in sheet number 9. In sheet number 9 besides city connection PT and DC connections are also shown. In the case of PT connection all wire ferules are prefixed with E and in the case of DC connection all wire ferules are prefixed with K and in the case of CT connection specially for metering core all wire ferules are prefixed with D. Here you can see that CT ratio is described as 800-400 by 1 that means we can use the same CT as 800 by 1 ratio or 400 by 1 ratio but in this case as 800 is underlined that means 800 by 1 ratio is used. Here in this diagram red, yellow and blue face cities are described but for simplicity we will discuss only red face city and notice that red face city is connected with 1 ammeter, 1 megawatt meter, 1 megaphar meter and 1 tri vector meter or energy meter. Suppose load current of CT primary is 200 ampere. Now as CT ratio is 800 by 1, so secondary current of this CT will be 0.25 ampere and this 0.25 ampere will follow this shaded path. Here 0.25 ampere will flow through a ammeter first and then after an ammeter it will go to a megawatt meter and then it will go to 1 mega var meter and after that it will go to a TTB and if these two terminals are shorted then it will flow through tri vector meter or energy meter and then the current will return to city secondary in field. When tri vector meter is in service then these two terminals are connected and there is no connection between these two terminal. But in the case of maintenance or replacement of tri vector meter, we make a connection between these two terminal and connection between these two terminals are opened. So as these two terminal is open now, so current cannot flow to tri vector meter. But CT secondary should not be opened in any case. So, as these two terminals are shorted or connected now, so current will flow this path to neutral instead of this path. So, as these two terminals are connected, so current will follow this path and it will go to CT in field and this is CT shorting arrangement. There may be any situation when there will be current through the primary circuit of CT but we want to take all panel equipments out of circuit due to maintenance. Then as there is current through the primary side of CT we cannot take these equipments out of circuit because if we disconnect this equipment from CT circuit then there will be a open in CT secondary path which we cannot do. But if we have CT shorting arrangement in our circuit then we can take out one 
or more than one equipment from city secondary circuit. This is the city shorting arrangement and during normal operating condition terminal 5, 7, 9 and 11 are connected whereas terminal 6, 8, 10 and 12 are disconnected. So current from field are connected to control loom equipments. But if we want to take control loom equipments that is any or all of the meters out of the city circuit then we will connect terminal number 6, 8, 10 and 12 and after closing we will open terminal number 5, 7, 9 and 11. So as terminal number 5, 7, 9 and 11 are opened whereas terminal 6, 8, 10 and 12 are connected so current from field city will flow through this path and will not go to control loom equipment as these terminals are opened. So as any current is not coming to control loom equipments so we can take any equipment out of circuit by opening these connections or these connections. Now the core 2 of this city is connected to backup protection and LBB protection which are described in sheet number 15 and 22. Now in sheet number 22 you can see that core 2 is connected to LBB protection. But notice that city connection is not completed here because this connection are going to sheet number 15 for backup or overcurrent protection and this is sheet number 15 where you can see the incomplete circuit of sheet number 22. That means LBB protection in sheet number 22 is connected in series with overcurrent protection described in sheet number 15 and this BL case a test block used for relay testing. Notice that test block are also present in the sheet of LBB protection. And if you want to take LBB and overcurrent protection out of circuit, then that is also possible here because CT shorting arrangement is also present in second core of CT. Now the third core of the CT is connected with main one protection or distance protection which is described in sheet number 10. In sheet number 10 you can see that core 3 is connected with distance protection relay. The connection is same as described in core 2 and core 1. But in the case of distance protection where parallel feeder exists then connection is a bit different and the difference is in neutral connection which goes to parallel or adjacent panel for mutual compensation features. So the neutral connection of feeder 1 will go to feeder 2 and in feeder 2 it will go through mutual compensating coil and then it will return to feeder 1 again. Just like feeder 1, neutral connection of feeder 2 will also come to feeder 1 and it will go through mutual compensating coil. But if parallel circuit is not present, then mutual compensation is not required. Now the core 4 and core 5 are connected to bus zone protection. Core 4 is connected to bus zone protection main and core 5 is for bus zone protection check. Those are described in sheet number 16. Here in sheet number 16 you can see that core 4 is connected with bus zone protection main whereas core 5 is connected with bus zone protection check. Here this is a high impedance bus zone protection relay where in main zone isolator contacts are used and in check zone isolator contacts are not used. 
both high and low impedance bus zone protection are very interesting topic and we will discuss that in another video. To watch upcoming videos on those topic, stay tuned by subscribing and don't forget to press bell icon for instant notification also.